Today we're going to be making the basic cheeseburger. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Alright, so the first step is the meat. So we're using 90-10 beef. It's just what we had in town on sale. You can use 85-15 or 80-20. If you go more fat than 80-20, then it gets to be a bit much and it shrinks down and gets all weird. And when you're smashing these, make sure that the edges are thicker than the inside. Because when it shrinks from all the fat, it will shrink evenly and it won't look all weird and distorted. You also want to make it bigger than your bun. So when it shrinks, it fits nicely. So you don't get a wimpy burger that's all like McDonald's. They have a place around here that sells five pound burgers and they're ridiculous. You can barely even get through a quarter pound of there because they have just so much grease and goodness and fat. I've got a scale right here and we're going to see how much these weigh. They would look like they'd be about a quarter pound but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, they're about a quarter pound. Quarter pounder. It's not a McDonald's quarter pounder, because you can just tell the difference on your own. Alright. Now when you go to season these, you don't need more than just salt and pepper to make it good. Because a lot of people think that you need all the stuff, but you don't. You just need salt and pepper and fat. And that's what you get from just you get the fat from these and the salt and pepper from your own. The reason we're making so many is because the moms heard we were making a burger video and now we're making dinner. So no, if you ever decide you want to make something like this, your mom's going to tell you to make dinner. I always want salt and pepper both sides of your burger. You don't need much else than salt and pepper to make the good burger. Some people think you need a ton of other random things to make it good, but all you need is salt and pepper. And you want to sprinkle it from above like this so that it spreads evenly and you don't get those salt clumps that kill you when you eat them. Alright, now that we're done with that, we're going to go fire up the grill.
Now this is the perfect cheeseburger. Just a few simple ingredients.